what's up y'all welcome back to another video so i know this is not my normal setup i'm in a hotel i came here to um record only fans content so um go subscribe to my only fans but i wanted to record this video i just woke up so that's why i look like this i'm gonna make up on it i'm gonna have lashes on but um i didn't do my hair yet but i woke up it's a beautiful morning and it's a friday so i wanted to just make sure i have this video up for y'all by sunday so i decided to wake up and record it in the hotel yeah so basically what i'm gonna be talking about is how to be successful on OnlyFans without getting naked like you know while still being somewhat conservative um so i wanted to make this video because a lot of girls that follow me follow me for OnlyFans content and they feel like they have to post you know all of them to be successful on there and i don't and i've been very successful only fans so i just want to spread the knowledge a lot of the times you'll see like celebrities do what i do like they'll promote their only fans but then, then once you get on there it's like not you know what you expected kind of and you know of course celebrities can get away with that because they're celebrities and they're going to make money that way but I just want to tell you how like you could be like a regular person and still make money without getting completely naked. So we're just going to jump right into the video. So first things first, it is possible. Like I said, I do it and I'm very successful on OnlyFans and people still enjoy my content. So what you have to do is just make sure that you offer other good content. So for example, you have to like find your niche. So like if you want to post your feet, a lot of guys, they'll subscribe to OnlyFans just to see your feet. Period. You know, people have feet fetish. They're, they're, they'll subscribe for that. Um, you can offer other stuff like twerking. Like you go twerk, get on there and twerk your ass off. Okay, it doesn't have to be. I think guys think that they're gonna go on every girl's OnlyFans and it's gonna be like hardcore you know what I mean but that's not you can use OnlyFans for whatever so just find your niche and make sure it's like good if you're not gonna offer like full you know nude content uh, you do not want to put in your bio that you don't offer that instead list what you do offer so um, I'll put an example of my um bio on a screen it says everything exactly what i offer on my only fans everything i do not stray away from this list this is everything i offer on my only fan no more no less but it does not say that i you know i don't offer like full nude but this is what you get in this is what it says so you can't once you get on my my page you can't say oh where's where's the new pictures uh-uh you got the chance to read the bio before you subscribe it says everything i offer did you see that there no so i mean i guess it's kind of like tricking them <laughs> but you don't want to put it in your bio because that's going to make them not want to subscribe instead you just want to sell them on what you do offer also you want to pin like a little message to your page stating that you don't offer that once they are subscribed um again i'll put an example of mine mine is kind of like along with my tip menu on OnlyFans. it's included like it's as my tip menu but i think i don't know how i have it set up now but somewhere in there i have that i do not offer that um you know offer full nude but yeah you don't have to add it to your tip menu like i do but you do want to pin a message stating that you do not offer that so yeah you want to post that so that your subs can see that after they subscribe and also um it's a good idea to put that in your welcome message i think i don't know if i did a video on welcome messages but if you're only fans and you actively use it you probably know how to set your welcome message you could put that in your welcome message that that's not something you offer but then again reiterate what you do offer so you know 
once they see the pin message and the welcome message they're already subscribed at that point so um some of the guys like i noticed on my page they'll store eggs for news and it specifically tells them in my pin message do not ask they'll store eggs um they're gonna ask but it just gives you like some because guys will get really mad that you know they subscribe and they don't have what they thought they're gonna get but that gives you three layers right there like okay first of all it says it in my, my bio when you subscribe you got a welcome message stating that and it's pinned to the top of my profile so that's three times i told you that i, I that's not something i offered and you're still asking so i usually give guys one warning if they ask again i block them because you're not gonna sell my OnlyFans threatening me because you thought you was getting on hair to get something that you wasn't getting so one thing you do want to do is stick to the limits that you said if you're not going to offer full nude do not offer it under any circumstances i literally had fans offer me like 500 dollars to record content that i wasn't comfortable with but you don't want to you don't want to start doing that because then it's just gonna trickle down and there's a reason why people don't offer full nude like they don't because you know with only fans there comes a risk of your stuff getting out even though you know you can it doesn't matter what you put in your bio what only fans you know says on our website there's always that risk that your content might get out so you know that's why people don't want to offer full nude so you know you do it for that one person that might be the one person that's going to put your content out there so stick to your limits don't i don't care how much money they offer you like i said i turned down 500 dollars before it ain't worth it to me to me but look if you set limits stick to them no matter what period well, the most important thing if you're not going to offer full nude is do not set your subscription price high because they're really going to feel like they wasted their money and if they feel like they wasted their money they will threaten to expose you so you can't be on there just taking pictures of lingerie and set your monthly price at $40. They will get on there and they'll really try to, yeah, they'll really threaten you. I've had people threaten me for $3. That's how much, my first month is always $3. Um, and I have people threaten me over fucking $3. So if you, your price is 20 and you only got laundry on them, be safe out here because <laughs> these men are crazy. <laughs> so my recommendation, I wouldn't go more than $5. But for me, I do my first three months, my first month is $3. And then after that, if they decide to stay, it's um, $12. And most, even though I don't offer like a, what a lot of other girls offer, um, most of my fans have the renew on because like i said if you're not gonna do full new you have to have quality content and my content to me is great and i always get guys on only fans telling me how great my content is even though i don't you know show as much as other people do they really enjoy it um like i said you see my bio i do do topless but i don't feel comfortable like showing um like hardcore you know getting it on <laughs> and exposing my my kitty <laughs> so i don't do that on there and i don't let nobody push me to do it but you can still have quality content and not do that stuff like i have some of the best reviews on my only fans and guys like i said most people have their my renew on they subscribe month after month quality content quality fucking content okay so like i said it's possible to be successful on only fans and not show everything so hopefully this video helped you um i think i got all the tips i had let me make sure um i do have a telegram group i keep forgetting to plug this in my videos we use it for like shout out for shout out for um only fans and also we just help each other answer questions for each other it's a really good group oh my god sorry um yeah we just help each other so 
sorry, I get so distracted. Uh, we help each other with OnlyFans questions, um, give tips, shout out for shout out. Um, yeah, so join my Telegram group. I'll link it. I'll put it in the pinned comment if I remember. Hopefully I do. If not, I think I have it in my description. Um, and if not, <laughs> just message me on like Twitter or something and um, ask for the link. So subscribe and it's friendly for like if you're just starting out only fans you can still join the telegram group so yeah um also i think most of you guys know i'm on fansly i plan on starting to do fansly videos soon so let me know if that's something you guys want to see i don't know if i have a lot of ladies on here that are on fansly but i can do the fansly videos i'm not that successful on it yet and it's kind of difficult to use to me, but I would do want to start doing videos on that since that's something I'm adventuring out to do. So I'm going to start those soon. And yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.